equation is the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. An example of this is used in a triangle, a right triangle, and say the sides are 3 and 4, and then you have c. How you use it is you do 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared, which equals 9 plus 16 equals c squared, which is 25 equals c squared, square root, and you get 5 equals c. So dimensions are 3, 4, and 5. Very good. With me today is my grandpa, Dwayne Mathias, who is a home builder. Can you explain how you use the Pythagorean theorem in your occupation? Sure. I uh, use the Pythagorean theorem all the time, particularly during layout work. And uh, when you're getting ready to build a house, of course, the first important thing is to get the footprint laid out as accurately as you can. And I uh, usually take the foundation plan and I establish a point where I want to put the, start the foundation, lay out a line, the length of the house, in this case it would be 60 feet from here to here, and then I come down, and then, I want to, then I want to establish two other points that are perfectly, they have perfectly square corners. So to do that, I, I take 34 feet and 8 inches, which in this case would be 34.667, and that would be my A side, and the B side would be 60 inches, 60 feet. And then I use the Pythagorean theorem to get my hypotenuse across there. To, so when I do that, should I use the calculator? I do that, I use the calculator, and I put uh, 34.667, take that squared, plus 60, and square that. And then take the add them together and take the square root and you get 69 feet 0.29 feet 69.29 feet that go across here. So then I take a, a tape and I run a tape from say this point to this point and a tape from this point to this point and when they cross um, the 34 0.667 feet and the 69.29 uh, feet, then that would be my, my point here. And then after that, of course, I can take the 60 feet and the 34 and establish this point. So, so I use Pythagorean theorem to, to lay out the foundation of the house. And then I do the same thing to lay out to get the points on the garage and this little piece back here. And so, so the Pythagorean theorem is exceedingly um, important for laying out the house. And then after the house is, is up and going, I still can use Pythagorean theorem, particularly the 3-4-5 triangle like uh, Candace has indicated to locate my rooms and petitions. Um, I also can use Pythagorean theorem for laying out the roof because usually if you have a run of 12 and a, and a rise of 6, you want to know what the hypotenuse is for that length on the roof. And so then you take uh, you can take the square root of 6 and the square root of 12, add them together, and, and get this dimension up there. Um, one of my favorite roof designs is actually a 5 inch pitch. I put 5 here, and then 12 square root is 
is 144, and 5 squared is 25. It's 9, 6, 169. And the square root of 169 is 13. So that comes out a nice, even 13, um, which makes for a nice pitch on a roof. Okay, so what qualifications do you need to have to be a home builder? Well, you have to use a lot of math. Uh, you, you, you make a lot of measurements and you make a lot of calculations. And um, you, do, you use math for figuring um, the number of square feet that you're going to need for um, the roof uh, shingles, the number of square feet you're going to need for siding, uh, the number of studs you need to use, the number of cubic yards of uh, concrete that you use, and most of it is um, volume and area uh, equations that you use for that. Okay. And what do you like about your job? Well, I love my job. I love to draw houses out and design them, and then uh, build them and see them come into fruition. fruition. I'm not saying that right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. It's been a pleasure. You're my favorite person. <laughs>